In a resurfaced video, Diddy checks to see if Justin Bieber is wearing a wire and issues a stark warning that explains everything. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Resurfaced video from 2021 shows Diddy meeting up with Justin Bieber and patting him down to see if he's wearing a wire. So needless to say, if this video is from 2021, Diddy was being investigated for a while and has been paranoid ever since. In the video, Justin just looks so broken, like he's saying, you know, I've been having a rough time since you violated me and passed me around the industry. I mean, poor Justin. But if you increase the audio and get rid of all the background noise, you can hear Diddy say something to Justin that really explains everything. Well, let's play that again because I definitely heard that. And it seems like Diddy was checking to see if Justin was wearing some sort of wire before he uttered this veiled warning. As I'm sure you're aware, Diddy is being investigated for human trafficking. And it's alleged in the Little Rod lawsuit, he would take advantage of men and women under the age of 16. After Little Rod announced his lawsuit, Justin Bieber allegedly had a relapse and a mental breakdown. His alleged OD made wife's Haley Bieber's dad ask people to pray for the couple. And a resurfaced video from 14 years ago called 48 Hours with Diddy apparently explains everything and how Justin was being taken advantage of by the industry. So the video shows Diddy taking Justin to a Ferrari that had been parked in the garage and Diddy told Justin he could let him ride it as soon as he turned 16. Justin was only 15 at the time and he gets excited and tries getting ahead of himself, but Diddy tells him to slow down. As soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you rock this every time you right. yeah, like, yeah, this will be yours. <laughs> So, let me oh, tell you, okay. LA, it's a little dusty, but you know, we'll get the front shot at this. Man. Man. Woo. Okay. Okay. All right, so, so I'm going to be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come down and you got to, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15. Thing. You can ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Now that, not yet. No. All right, no, 16. No, no, 16. Slow All down. Right. Let's slow down, Justin. Okay. Let's okay. slow down, okay? One, one step at a time. But, yeah. Diddy didn't just stop at giving Justin the Ferrari. He offered Justin the mansion and told him he could have it when he turned 18. Yeah, yeah. then when you get 18, you get the house. You get okay. the mansion. Okay, yeah. I get the mansion. Just to recap, Diddy promises Justin a Ferrari at 16, and Nexi also promises Justin an entire mansion when he turns 18. So what could have been Diddy's motive for giving Justin these expensive gifts? I mean, could he have been manipulating Justin into an adult relationship to do adult things at such a young age? It's alleged by Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, that he does just that. And I want to know, where was Justin's parents throughout all of this to give him guidance? Anyway, Justin was very excited at the offer, and he obviously couldn't say no. I mean, he was a kid in a candy store. It could seem like a nice gesture, but given Little Rod's lawsuit where it stated Diddy would allegedly get with very young girls and boys, this has an unsettling undertone. And Diddy said something that we just cannot overlook. Like, like you know, where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose. And I mean, yikes. What could Diddy possibly be doing with Justin Bieber off camera that he couldn't mention in front of the camera? Could there be something that Diddy was going to do that he didn't want anyone to know about? Well, we already knew what he did with Usher. The young and innocent Usher was shown adult activities carried out by other celebrities under Diddy's watch. Usher was given to Diddy at 10 years old, and Diddy at one time let it slip that him and Usher shared a bed. 
The ultimate proof that Justin was influenced negatively is the confession of his struggles with substances and breaking the law. There was a time where I was sipping lean, I was popping pills, I was doing molly, um, you know, everything. And it was just- I mean, doesn't that sound like Diddy's influence? It's pretty obvious now what Diddy was making a young Justin Bieber do. Like in this video where he was caught doing something very, very suspicious. Yeah, so Justin is on his knees in this video and that guy pulls up his pants. Justin sees he's being recorded and immediately stops and sort of makes fun of the situation. But this has some very shady undertones. Seems very suspicious if you ask me. And of course, this video of Justin Bieber stuttering when asked by Diddy why they don't hang out anymore. Everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? No, you, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't, I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. My number? Yeah, yeah. Wow, he seems really nervous in that video. Like, he doesn't want to talk to Diddy and just wants to leave. And there's a reason why they don't hang out anymore. Poor Justin. I mean, he looks so innocent here. And what he turned into is just sort of sad to me. So I'll just leave you with this joke by Andrew Schultz, which I thought was pretty funny. LA, I got tired of the media trying to smear this great city. They're saying you're a bunch of criminals and that is not the whole city. That is a very small, specific section of the city. It's called Diddy's House. That is, listen. The only reason I think he might be guilty, every celebrity in LA has had their home robbed except Diddy. And I thought about it, it's like, bro, robbing Diddy is terrifying, because what if he's there? You break down the door, he's on the couch. Meek Mill sitting on his lap, just, just, just petting him like a Maltese cat. Just, Meek Mill crying. Oh no, wait a minute. I thought you was finished. <laughs> it's like, can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> you try to run out, you run out, the door is locked. You turn around, all of a sudden you hear. It's your asshole tonight. Yeah, so going back to that JB video at the start, your ass is mine. It's all coming full circle. What do you guys think about all this? Sound off in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe by hitting my face here.